Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Oregon State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 30. Well, Kirk, today we get to take a look at one of the top quarterbacks in the country. You and I have been looking forward to this. Flowers' decision-making abilities make him very effective against any defense he's ever played, really. Well, defenses have to put pressure on him and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the field, he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance at least shutting him down. Throws a bullet, and he's tackled around the 37-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. Tackled after a decent pickup. UCLA's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now. And he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinator. And he has it on the corner. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Wow. When you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he tacks on the extra point. So a short three-play, 70-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 7-0. UCLA ready to kick this one off. From the seven. Ball is loose. Fumble. They fall on it. Tackle at the 25-yard line. The Bruins are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 40-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He 
gets to about the 31-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 31. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a deep five on the play. That brings him second and five. Here we go. 35 to Mike. Let's go. Quick check. check. 98 wins. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the 19. Rodgers picks up seven yards with that catch. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. And this play is number eight on the drive. Finds a man. Touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll take it from the two. Across the 30. Across midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 41. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He makes his way to about the 32. That makes it second and two. Five wide. Dumps it out left to the running back. He's taken down at about the 31. Nickel only gains about a yard with that catch. They didn't need much, and they barely got it. That's cutting it pretty close. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught open field, and he's taken down at about the 21. it up the middle for a nice run. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. No game. That makes it second and ten. Here's a run. Tackle at about the 13. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Third and nine. Ball on the 13. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. UCLA could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Carter has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he's tackled at the 27. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Right, 
He's knocked down a bound at about the 33 yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. Levine will run it again, and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Just throws this one away. is back deep to return. He dropped it. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. We've played one. The Bruins in front, 10-7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Nice run up the middle. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here he goes. He gets hit out of bounds, right around the 40. UCLA is up by three. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 27-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. down after a nice run up the middle. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Inside the 10. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And down he goes at the two. the PAT. A seven-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Thomas fields at the goal line. Oh, man, he took him down hard. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Blue 14! Blue 14! He heaves it deep. Can't pull it in. Jones is taking receiver over Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21 yard line. They'll 
wrestle him down in the backfield. Green is good for four. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Hughes to punt. Didn't get all of that one. And he muffed it. I know I'd be nervous with 11 guys sprinting down the field at me, but the first job of a return man is to catch the ball. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. and he can't make the grab. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. From their own 44-yard line, third down. He gets rid of this one, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Collins is waiting for the snap. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's to the 40. He's tackled in the open field. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it, and they'll move the chains. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Here we go! Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 34. And he's immediately tackled. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires that quickly, incomplete. out to about the 14-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the 14-yard line, first down. Fires it out. And he's level at the 11-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he tackles him hard at the four. Game of seven on the play. That makes it first. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's hit and taken down. Green 
finds the tight end for a touchdown. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine-play, 67-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 17-14. Anderson has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Hearn fields it at the 13. The 50. Tackle at the 41. The Bruins right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on them. What they've done so far hasn't worked. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. UCLA has a three-point lead. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Here's an opening. Gets out to around the 25. UCLA is going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Fires right side, got his tailback. He's tackled at the 29. UCLA's out of timeouts. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. He launches one for the end zone. Oh my, what a catch. Touchdown. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. And he adds the extra point. Carter looks ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line, brought down at the 20. So at the end of the half, the Bruins in front, 24-14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, Get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with the quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. 
And he did not have a good kick return on that one. No, some miscommunication there with his blockers. The coverage team just charged right in and took him down. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Man open, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 13. Rose intercepts. No, he dropped it. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. Coleman is back to receive. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. They're set to go for another round. Quick strike, and he drops it. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and they got to him before he could get back to the line. Eight yards back on the play. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 41 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. It's a short kick. He drops it. And down he goes at the 16. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Tackled after decent pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That brings him second, second and five. And five. Tight right, tight right. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 21. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. five-yard line. Hughes awaits the snap. Coleman fields it at the 37. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. And they make the stop right around the 40. And a 
quick throw. And down he goes at the 32. He's into the open field. They'll bring him down at the 18. middle and he's stuck. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Nice run and he's brought down. the gut it's fourth down they're gonna go for the easy three here he gets it up and it's through the uprights Carter has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Flowers' consistency throughout this game really cementing his star status right now. Kirk, this is what we expected of him, and through three quarters, he's producing. Well, we knew coming into this game, as you said, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country. How can he not be impressed by what we've seen up to this point? I mean, he's making good decisions with the football, getting his teammates involved in the offense, but most importantly, he's not putting his team in any kind of bad situations. He just seems to be managing the game and not letting this game manage him. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. Zips it to the back. That's a great tackle. The 42-yard line. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. UCLA's got a 13-point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. 35 to the right. Ready. Green 88. Green 88. Hands off to the left, and they wrestle him down behind the line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. it out left to the running back he's at midfield and they push him out at the 44 that's a game of 16 on the play that makes it first and 10 from the 44 yard line first down Throw, he caught it, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. That brings up second and nine. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Check, check. Tiger. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. He 
fights forward to about the 33. And Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. Just under three to go in regulation. Deep pass to the end zone. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. From the 33-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Third down. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Caught open field. Tackle made at the 18 yard line. Gaining 10 yards. First down. Pressure coming. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That'll bring up second and three. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. the middle for a nice game. That makes it first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. Time for that touchdown, and now they've still got a chance in this game. And he converts the extra point. Side and they're back in business. And that's exactly how you want to kick an onside. Great job by the kicker, but even a better job by his teammates to get all over that football. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under two minutes in the game. Caught out in the open. Tackle around the 43-yard line. Jackson makes the touch. Eagle! The Eagle! Line. That brings him second and one. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at about the 49. That makes it first and 10. From the 49 yard line, first down. He airs it out. And he hits him hard at the two yard line. The Beavers will use their first time out of the half. They line up in the jumbo set. And now the ball is loose. It's recovered. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. This might be it. They've got the lead, but if they add to it, they know they've got a victory. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Nickel gains about four yards on the play. The Beavers are going to call their second timeout. Second and six. Ball on the seven. Nice run there. Good 
pickup. And with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. Oregon State's called their final timeout. UCLA with a six-point lead. Makes it to the 31. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Blue 19. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Bruins come out on top, 27-21. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.